guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here today's video i'm so excited for because i finally caved and bought myself that vest that i have been going on about on my channel for ages now um it's i think the third item of my rule of five year and i'm so happy that i chose this you may have seen me mention it on i think my everything I didn't buy this month video and then the spring wish list as well video I think I'll pop them up on the screen but if you watch those videos you probably know what I'm going to show you I bought myself a damson matter vest it's so cute the pattern is exactly what I was hoping for it's just the perfect like tartan print it's so perfect for spring and it has a little like tie up option here so you can turn it into a vest. I'll show you how it works when I pop it on, but this video is gonna be like a little styling journey for me because I haven't really had time to style it yet. And I just wanna see like the many ways this can fit into my wardrobe because it's a perfect like layering piece. I have a feeling it's gonna go with everything, which is really nice, but might make for a long video. So I'll try to cut it down. So I'm gonna start with like just the basics. I'm gonna keep these jeans on. I'm gonna style it with a white shirt underneath. And then you would just be able to see like the look of the garment and just like how I would like chuck it on if I have no time. And then we'll go from there. So I've got this really gorgeous white plissé top that I've been trying to style for a while now. Um, and I think that this vest is just gonna be such a cute option. I think it's gonna be a really nice contradiction between like the fabric of the plissé top and the pattern on the vest. So I'm just gonna pop it on. It's just so cute. I'm not sure about this top to be fair. I do think like basically any white top works with it. So it's quite cute, but I don't think this is like my favorite variation, but it's just a nice way to show you the vest. I do really love it with these jeans. I think the blue on blue is just perfect, but maybe this top is a little bit dramatic for what I'm going for. So I think I'm gonna switch out to another one. I saw this like Pinterest inspo photo that had a lot more of an airy blouse. And I think I have something like this. So I think that's what I'm gonna try on instead of this like more formal one. I definitely think this top is so much better suited. It's so light and airy. Is literally like what I was envisioning when I bought this vest. Um, and I've just quickly popped my hair up into a little French knot. So you can see the vest better, but I think this is so cute. Literally perfect and such an easy one. I think this could go really well with my burgundy loafers as well because I love the navy and burgundy together. Yeah, just a really simple like chuck on and go outfit for spring. Um, also could be really cute with my trench coat on, but I think we can all imagine that. Maybe I'll show you that in a later outfit. But yeah, this is like the kind of first outfit and the one I'd gravitate to, I think the quickest. But I do want to play with how else I can style this jacket. So let's do it, I think with a dress, because I have a dress in mind based on this Pinterest image. So I have like a black dress instead of a white one and I think it will still look super cute. So I'm gonna try that. This is the black dress. Um, it's just so like simple and just a wrap dress basically. I don't wear it enough. And I guess that's because I'm not really sure how to style it. I've put it on with a jumper before, but I think a vest would just look so much cuter. So I'm gonna try it. I do actually really like this. I know it's a little bit like loose and I guess I'm trying to get over that a little bit, but I do think this one will look really cute with ballet flats, um, my tie up ones especially. So I'm gonna pop them on and then maybe think about a bag. Okay, I've just tied my hair back into like the world's quickest French braid because I'm really feeling like the French vibe here. Um, yeah, and then I'm thinking a bag. I maybe just do my black crossbody one because it will just cinch me in a little bit, but also I'm not really feeling much more color here. I'm really liking just styling it with black. Okay, bag in place and sunglasses in place. I do think this is a really cute like spring outfit. I know it's not that um, colorful, but still. I think this works, to be honest. I can still see myself wearing this down for coffee or like, you know, even just like dinner with friends. Like it's so casual and comfy, but still like kind of dressy. Um, and I just think the vest looks really nice against black. What do you guys think? This is the second outfit, I think. Yeah. Um, I might go for another like kind of casual one. So I'm thinking I want to style it with my gray mini skirt next because I love that mini skirt. 
and I want to bring it into spring and I also think the grey and the blue will look really nice together so let's try to do that next. This is the really like basic point of the outfit and I want to try style this in a couple of different ways but playing on like monochrome. So first kind of idea I had which I'm not sure is going to be the successful one which is why we're going to try it first is overlaying the vest over my denim jacket and just seeing how that kind of works and how it sits. So I'm going to pop that on first and then I guess we'll see if I need to change it. If you guys watch this channel, you know I'm a massive fan of this combination just on its own without even the vest. It's just like the denim jacket and the gray skirt together. I love them. But I'm going to try and put the vest over and see if it looks weird or not. Um, Cause this is what that video is all about. It's about experimenting. So I'm gonna experiment. Okay, I don't hate it. I think it's actually a really cute way of being warm and layering this in an unexpected way. Cause obviously this is, like I wouldn't have thought to put over a, a vest over a jacket, but I do think it kind of works. Let me know if you like it with the button up or potentially the button undone to see the bottom layer. Maybe that looks nicer. Um, I'd love to know what you guys prefer or whether you don't think this works at all. I'm kind of like in two minds about it. I do really like the gray and the tartan together. I think they look really cute and I think all the colors work. I'm just not sure if the jacket does work or not. Just like, just sort of in terms of just the buttoning. I think the sleeves look really cute, but it's the buttoning and like overlaying with the tie that maybe looks a little bit busy to me. I don't know, but what I'm going to try instead is my blue jumper. <laughs> I can get that out and see how that looks as well. Cause I think, as I said, the color combination here is really cute. Okay, cool. So jumpers on, um, I'm not really bothering with accessories that much in this video because I feel like if I do, my brain will explode. I can only count on doing so many things at one time. So potentially I will style these with accessories later on and then put them on Instagram or whatever and you can see them there. But I've just popped on my burgundy loafers which are really cute and I love with this skirt again. And I'll pop the vest on. I'm not sure if you guys can see but there's like a little inside pocket on the vest where I've just tucked the strap down into because I don't really feel like wearing it tied up with this outfit. Um, and I think that looks really cute. I love how there's like a really versatile option for it if you don't want to tie it up. But yeah, I think this is so cute. Just a little like, again, really wearable one, really wearable to like coffee, dinner, whatever. I love to know what you guys think about this one as well. I know you all kind of love my gray mini skirt, so I love finding new ways to style it and show you guys. Um, but I think this would equally work with my black, like slimmer mini skirt. And I think that silhouette is more in for this spring. So I might just quickly pop that on to see if the vibe's still working, you know? I've just styled it in like a very similar, but kind of different way to show you exactly how versatile this is. So like, literally just still a skirt and a jumper but I've crossed over I've put on my cowboy boots instead and it's obviously a completely different color palette and I still think it's so cute and so wearable so yeah happy with this kind of like outfit formula here um I think we should try something different now I have another dress that I want to try it on with that's definitely more of a summer vibe but I'm wondering if I can style it for spring with some like tights or maybe these boots and this vest. So let's try it. Actually really quick before we move on, I wanted to show you this in like its most basic form again, but with light jeans, cause I do think they're perfect for this. You know, I love a bit of monochrome in different shades. And I just think it goes really, really cute. But also I wanted to show you it with a trench coat, which this outfit would just go with. Is this not just like so cute? I love the way the tartan like pokes through and sticks out in its little bow from the trench coat. And I've already like worn it a couple of times like this since it's been quite rainy in London. It's literally like perfect. It's so easy to just shove on. So yeah, this is, I guess, another like really basic way of styling it. But I think that's the best things. Like when you feel like things are basic, you feel like they're so wearable that you're barely even like, you know, putting any effort in. And I love that. That is literally like my favorite kind of outfit. So I thought I'd show it to you guys. 
Okay, dress time. So this is one of my favorite summer dresses, but honestly, I wouldn't really get it out until like the height of summer, because obviously it is like a very, very summery dress, but I'm hoping the vest will make it a lot more wearable in like late spring when we're kind of feeling summer. And also it's just gonna be a really cute way of showing you a short dress with the vest when I've only shown you a maxi one. I've picked my accessories as well because I just feel like I've been wearing a hat really recently and maybe it's a little bit more springy than it is summer. So this is really cute and I love the way the pink of the dress works with the red bag. Um, but equally I could take the hat off and do it with sunglasses. Yeah, I think this works just as well. Oh, I haven't done shoes probably ballet flats because this is such a dainty cute little outfit that I feel like ballet flats are the right vibe. Just switched out my sunglasses to match my shoes instead of gone for black ones. I do wish I had more shoe options. I don't really invest in shoes that much because I find them so much easier to wreck than clothes so I feel bad spending any money on them but I do need some more like colorful sneakers for spring. And I think that could be a really cute way of styling this outfit. So potentially I'm going to find myself another pair second hand or whatever, but this is the outfit. I think it's really cute. I can definitely see myself wearing this uh, when the weather permits. I think there's some obvious other options like, you know, switching out a white t-shirt to a different color t-shirt that matches like I have a pink t-shirt that's not far from this so I know that would work because obviously this color combo works um but what I do want to try that I haven't really tried before is trying the vest on with no top underneath it's definitely a different thing for me so <laughs> I'm going to give it a go. I think I'm gonna wear my black long skirt with it just to kind of give it even more of like a sexy vibe. Um, and we'll see how that goes. I like it personally. It's definitely maybe not a spring one. Maybe it's more like the height of summer, but I do like the way the vest is when there's nothing underneath. Um, it's really cute. I like it with this skirt and my ballet flats, obviously. So, so cute. I definitely think I could wear this to dinner maybe with my hair up as well I can't really be bothered to do that now because it's the end of the video but I think this video has just proved that this vest is so versatile and especially for my wardrobe and what I seem to own I think there's just endless possibilities here like it doesn't matter what jeans I pair it with what top I pair it with like there's just infinite combinations with all my clothing obviously dresses skirts different boots, whatever, over jackets, under jackets. Like I could go on and on and on with this video, just trying on all of the different combinations, but I feel like that would be boring and you would just see it on Instagram anyway. I'm so, so happy with this purchase. I'm happy it's my third in my rule of five series. And I wanted to caveat this video at the end by saying, Although this is a trend that I've bought into and it's obviously going to be big this spring, I've wanted a vest like this for ages now, like a padded vest that really works for spring. So I may have bought it while it was a trend, but I didn't buy it because it was a trend. I'm going to definitely keep it in my forever wardrobe and hopefully, yeah, it's going to stay there for ages. I hope you liked this video. I hope you had fun watching me style this vest and that you have a lovely, lovely weekend and I'll speak to you really soon. Bye.